So this is the first video of this series about the problems with my house and what I'm doing to solve them. Today, I'll actually be talking about a problem I haven't yet solved. My kitchen seems like it has an exhaust system, but it doesn't, okay? But why do I even care about a kitchen exhaust system? Welcome to the Healthy Home Guide. This is a place where I share practical tips for creating a safe and healthy home. Please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help me out a lot. What is a kitchen exhaust system? Well, it should have two main components, a range hood above your stove and a makeup air system. The range hood sucks kitchen air out of the house and the makeup air system safely replaces the air that gets sucked out. Wait a second, what do I mean it safely replaces the air? Well, okay, imagine the air around you is actually water instead. So your house is filled with water and the outdoors is also water. Well, if you suck a bit of water out of your house, more water from outside will wanna rush inside to replace the empty space that the water you sucked out left behind. It's pretty similar with air, and it's all about equalizing pressure between the indoors and outdoors. Makeup air systems basically ensure that when you suck air out of your house, the replacement air from outside doesn't come inside through spaces with hazardous substances, like your chimney, insulation, garage, or heating system. But why is it so important that we exhaust air out of our kitchens in the first place? Well, of course we cook in our kitchens, but Cooking can't be that hazardous, right? I mean, unless you burn something in the oven, cooking probably doesn't affect your air quality that much, right? That's what I thought at least, but apparently that's wrong. The Alfred P. Sloan Foundation is actually studying this and their home chem and CASA experiments are revealing so much about the infinitely complex series of chemical reactions that are occurring in our homes at all times. Any kind of cooking, whether it's baking, using a toaster oven, steaming, microwaving, anything, all releases stuff into the air. That stuff can include nitrogen oxides, particles, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, moisture, which can cause mold growth, smoke, VOCs, I could keep going on. But here's the part that actually blew my mind, and it's that the chemicals produced from cooking can actually become other more harmful chemicals over time. So what happens is that they slowly degrade or react with other substances floating around your home over the course of hours, days, and weeks. Through this cascading transformative process, some really nasty compounds can form in your air. It's actually kind of beautiful to imagine in a way, like if you set aside the danger. There's almost an elegance to countless invisible branching structures spiraling and tumbling in your home's breeze, growing, changing, interlocking, breaking apart. But no, we don't want to breathe these. We're only just beginning to understand this process and the harm it can cause us. At the end of the day, the best thing you can do is just make sure you use your exhaust system every single time you cook. Oh, well, that's if you actually have one. I thought I had an exhaust system, but apparently I don't. So this is my microwave. If you press this vent fan button, a fan turns on. I assume the air goes outside. I mean, why would it not? It sounds like it's working, but it's not. What it does is it sucks the air right into the bottom of the microwave and blows it out of the top of the microwave. If you have a system like this, here's a quick way to check whether it actually vents outside. Turn it on full blast and feel if air is blowing out from anywhere. If it is, it's likely not venting outside. So yeah, I mean, I guess I need to install a kitchen exhaust system. In future videos, I'll bring you through the process of doing so. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Let me know in the comments if your kitchen exhaust system is also misleading. Now, if you do have a system, does it have makeup air capabilities? I'll bet it doesn't, let me know. Anyway, that's it. Like this video if this information was helpful to you and thank you for watching.